Hello, welcome back to space, the final frontier, the place where human meat has 200 flavors. Well, I guess human meat derivate or human meat protein has 200 flavors, which probably all of them are bad, judging by <laughs> how this looks. Hmm, maybe human sushi tastes better? I don't know. I think we have a problem with the game. Currently, we have kind of gotten all of the loot that we can get. We have gotten the companions. We have all of the gear we could equip. We have also selected the feats. He has armor because armor seems like it's a necessary thing to survive all of these enemies. Man, some of them really hit hard. And the skill monkey has become a real skill monkey. Other than that, I'm not sure what else I can add to them. I'm not sure why this is flashing. I don't see anything else we can add over here. So I guess that's all we can upgrade. When we level up, if we level up truly. I guess we can use a little more experience. So the only way we can advance in this problem. We should control our armory. I guess we can go to the armory. We also have that key to the armory. Weapons and armor meant for the future colony flow that the ship turning the mutant in, into a fully a full fledged war. The ship authority held its own in the end, keeping control of the lower decks, but at a great cost. Yeah. What was that? Okay, we're maxed out. And I think this will be a multi level type of deal. I like how it sounds, the armory. Okay, so... we This is a place where you can call a train. Or a, some sort of transport and then use the crane and put it on the power lines and then you could go somewhere. Interesting. Oh, I have an implant over there. I want that. Mm, those frogs don't look too dangerous, but I mean, who knows? The frogs are probably going to eat us alive. The outside of hydroponics, never see frogs outside of hydroponics. The fungi must have driven them out. What do you mean, the fungi? Attack them? The frogs look small, but so do pit bulls. Bull frogs go for. The legs and then they knock you down and then they go for the head and finish you. They eat your face off. That's some amazing animations. Good leg armor and helmet will make a difference. Let us go for the eyes. Well, that sounds like it will be a problem. I guess we have to put Evans over there and Jed here in the middle a little bit. And they jump a lot. They're eating his face off. That's both amazing and terrifying. Now, I don't have a lot of 4.45 ACP, but looks like we'll need to use it all over here, more or less. Don't miss, don't miss. Okay, that was great. Uh, sure, we can just go for the normal attack since that one is already crippled. Come on, not a graze. Exactly when I didn't need a graze, you give me a graze. He's pretty beat up, but he can still shoot. Poisoned and blinded. That doesn't sound very nice. I have to save my 45 ACP ammo because I will need a lot of it. I've, I think I have overestimated that gun. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's kind of bad.
Why is it bad is bad? Because it has a high chance to graze the enemy instead of just hurting him or killing him or it. He's so blind he cannot even hit something in front of him. That was a pretty scary fight, I guess they evolved over time. Oh, don't mind if I do, we have a lot of aggro teams. Eh, like I said, I just want to sell them. Get some money out of it. So we'll have more frogs around along the line. We can fix the panel. We can also pick lock. Oh, what is this? A safety helmet. And the sharp objects killed by most people you've met. Yes, that's true. Okay, okay. This will be great against the frogs that want to eat us alive. Is that a rope? Interesting. I guess this means he'll not get any penalties to his uh, initiative or evasion. Yeah, exactly. So Evans has to use this Stahl Helm. Turtle better though, yeah. No stat debuff. Tenting to remain without a helmet. <laughs> but it's probably a very bad idea to remain without a helmet. This crazy stuff happening all around here. I guess you have to move those crates in order to get to that implant. Five point five fifty six. We really need some b better guns. Okay, so the problem is look at this gun. I think 8% graze is too much. It has a big chance to graze as opposed to the other ones. And this 45 Bulldog revolver is so good. Improves his reaction as well. Oh, we have a few bandits over there. I guess we can squeeze through here and see what's here. Well, like this, you know, this is how I played Atom RPG as well. Before I do anything else, I just want to explore every area and make sure we get all of the loot before we start fighting. Oh, that's the vault. Oh, okay, this is definitely the right place to be. Got to push. Great, I said, what do you mean? I have two people with me that are as strong as anyone else. Whatever, what do you mean take the elevator up? But then we don't fight the scavengers. I would lose the scavenger fight? No, 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 we don't want that. I have to fight the frogs again. Yeah, okay, ah, man. Hmm. Kind of annoying, so that's how the, the game works, sadly. So if you miss a certain combat, you'll not, you might not be able to come back to it. Don't bite his ankle so much.
Evans is so good with that thing. As opposed to the rest of us, which suck. <laughs> Even this guy with his little shotgun is stronger than the others. Get away from me or <laughs> I'll punch you. Okay, these things are much more dangerous than they look. And they look kind of menacing already as it is. As you can see this one has the, the weird fins on his back to let us know it's a different type of enemy. Didn't do much damage. Five percent chance to hit, and we hit. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't know we'd lose a fight or uh, the loot from an entire fight. Open says making. I think the loot is static, once you open something it will always have the same things in it. Yeah, it's more or less the same. But I still have a bad feeling about all of this. This is the armory, we shouldn't be in the armory. The armory sounds like a place where you can find useful things but also dangerous things. <laughs> Let's save the game over here. That's actually an interesting option. If you can skip the fights and potentially lose the loot. Evans and Lazarus will be first. Oh, he has a rifle. I hate the rifles. So I need to go to a position where they have zero ouch zero cover. Oh thank you. I really needed this hit to hit. You know what you I think you have to flank them. Ouch, this hurts when I look at it. He has a revolver as well. Even though it doesn't sound like a revolver, it is, it is a revolver. Would it make sense to engage in melee combat? It would make sense. Ouch! So he's kneecapped. Is it worth? Yeah, it's worth it. And now we just go for regular attacks. Don't be flashy because flashy people get killed. Let's get out of here. Keeping someone tied in melee is such a great idea. Unless they run away. Or actions attack or action attacks are not very good. He ran away and then he came back in melee. Yeah, that it's such a bad weapon that rifle. Why is always oh, because he's in cover. Oops. This will hurt a lot. Oh, if he attacks me in melee, it's okay. 
We are kind of a melee specialist. I mean, we don't take a lot of damage. But the problem is, he is not taking a lot of damage. Perfect. And now the hands. Okay, that's great. Now we can finally breathe. Yeah, even though it's one character, he might kill us. All of these grazing shots I do. With these rifles. Oh, he can heal as well. Oh, it's unfair when the enemy can do the same things as you. Why did he, does he have 18 now? I don't know, but that's weird. Maybe it's a skill, yes. He had a bulldog, so it's not a bulldog too, but it's a very good one as well. Oh, and... A proper reinforced ballistic armor. Red sticks. Did we get a lot of money from this? Probably not. What is this rifle? It has more accuracy. It uses 0.45. Oh, okay. Action point cost is better. Okay, okay. this is a, kind of like a general purpose rifle, but as you can see, the grace chance is too high on it. On the other hand, I need a lot more 0.45. But the aim and the penetration, the staggers will be a lot better. Seven, so I cannot do free shots anymore, but... I think it will be worth it. What about the direction of the other characters? We have recoil control as well. I guess we can equip the Bulldog as well on us, but... Oh, it uses 9mm. 4 and 5, because this uses... Oh! Where did I get the Bulldog too? Hmm. Must be a very important weapon now that I look at it. So this is a damage heavy ballistic vest 865. 332. 6, minus 6 and 6, so it's the same as this one, but... Oh, it has more melee resistance. Okay, I get it. It looks, it looks a lot cooler. Well, to be honest, to be completely honest, I already did the fight with the frogs and I lost so badly, I, I reloaded the game. And those frogs are so vicious, it makes me angry that frogs can be so vicious in this game. Let me show you what I mean. Yeah, even those bandits were terrifying, you saw? That guy had so many hit points and so many stats on him, we barely killed him. And it was 3 versus 1 and he could have killed one of us very easy. Let's try this one now. Push forward, step inside. It's the nest. It's the nest and the nest has a special frog, which is a Psyker frog. It looks so dangerous and poisonous. I think they took the model from a rainforest frog. Okay, here goes nothing. Ankle biters at work. I like how they seem so vicious. They might not be as strong as the other ones. They are not humans, but they just wear you down with their blinding clouds, with their blinding knockdown already. Look at this, biting the face. 
I don't think they have thief to be honest. Folks shouldn't have thief. Crippled. Seventy one for a regular shot. What about? I guess it won't work on the bullfrog. Yeah, this sounds a little better. It's not as tiny as it looks, you can hit it, trust me. Now the psychic frog, look at it sticking out its tongue, that's a disgusting attack. And it makes them panic, you, you can see the, the things over here. Stop doing that, we're already crippled. Just have to move out of range. <coughs> hmm. What about an aimed attack? 45, okay, let's do the snapshot. Oh, I'm so tired of the grazes, it's an infinite graze cycle. How can I get so many grazed hits? He's blinded, he can't. He cannot hit anything at this point. Oh, not him, not Lazarus. He's my pride and joy. <laughs> Thank you, game. That was actually very kind of you. Poison and blinded. We're basically firing at them and not hitting anything. Snapshot is a good idea, but not in this case. Ouch, really? This rifle hurts a lot. I like it. It's going to be okay, just put another steam in your leg. And attack it in combat. Just a scratch in his panic. Looks like that helmet is helping him resist the panic attacks. That's... That's hurting my soul. <laughs> okay, we seem to have the range on him. We destroyed his shield, thankfully. Oh yeah, this is the ideal range for this gun. That was amazing. I, I love this game now. I really love it. So if you try to attack the enemy with unprop with weapons that are not right, or if you try to attack them with in melee with i don't know just so, so many rules that you have to learn and most of the rules make sense cycles brain quest item i guess it will be useful later look at all of the eggs at some point it said if one out of 20 of these eggs survives it will be too many flashbang small grenade i love the flashbangs so let's look at their initiative 33, 35, 25, yeah, he'll never use a grenade for that initiative, but I'll give him the small grenade anyway. What else is here? Lock picking free. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted and those are so many healing items. Hmm. 
I guess that's all there was here. Didn't we level up? I thought we were close to leveling up. We did level up. I'm not sure how leveling up works. What does leveling up give you? It doesn't seem to give you stats. I guess you earn those by fighting. I can add another feat. Educated. Extra experience works retroactively. Rifleman. Definitely going to add Rifleman. Some of these fights are so tricky and annoying. Wait, can I add another one? Looks like I can. Steam duration plus one. No stealth, no other thing. Blaster gunfighter. Blade basher gladiator. That would be fun to have. More implants. On kill six action points. That second one would be nice as well. I could also go for more evasion or other stuff. When working alone, I think that doesn't work like that. We can also have one more follower. Okay, let's save the game. Um, go to characters. Add another feat. Personal magnetism. But that means we can get uh, faith. Interesting, so we can get at the we can get faith as well. She should be at the bar. And here she is at Whiskey Jack. Faith gains the assassin feet. I want to ask you a few questions. So what is she good at? She is good at a rifle. No, that's us. We are good at rifle. She's good at pistols and bladed weapons like us. And that's about it. I guess. I guess we really have to play the skill monkey because these characters have nothing on us. She's intelligent and dexterous as dexterity. Melee damage, critical chance, penetration, takedown. Okay. So she will be our melee specialist, but how good is a melee specialist without the armorer feat? No, oh, she will take so much damage, it will, it will be unbelievable how much damage she will take. Hmm, this is going to be awkward. Toxic neural optic. So she's better with the pistol than anything else, and I like how the pistols work in this game. I guess I should give her the bulldog. The toothpick is good enough, I guess. Or is this one better? So it's more, oh, this has less action point cost, okay, you are going to win. <laughs> she has normal boots, that's not going to work, at least heavy boots. Gunslinger jacket, well that's not going to be good enough. I guess this will have to do, I'm just looking at some of the stats, I think I'll have to do some sorting of camera as well.
But yeah, more or less this will be faith. Let's go back to the armory. I guess you have to go all the way back there. I love this game. I think I made a few mistakes along the way, but now I'm recovering from those mistakes. Check the monitor. You can move that big container over there. Ask Faith. Oh, so we moved the entire thing. And now we need Biotech 3 to extract the implant. We have, we have a Bionic Eye, which is the same as we... Okay. Uh, I don't really want to use the implants, even though they seem to be very good. But once you implant, once you put them in your character, you cannot get them out. So that's kind of annoying because you would need... You need to make sure that the final ones you can get. Let's go back to the pit. I think we need more ammo. Game, are you okay? The game is okay. I remember correctly, I have to go over here to the promised land. I don't know, we have to go to Whiskey Jack, so we're just near the gunsmith. They they don't seem to have better gear, I'm not sure when we can get better gear. That barely gives us any money. and then we'll sell it yeah, I'm kind of tired of the super low accuracy of these things and plus their great chances out of this world I might be better with the Tommy gun but it's an SMG and look at this so the 5.5 .5 ammo the rifle ammo is three dollars or three creds the 0.45 is two and the shells are one oh, interesting I guess you can buy 19 more or 29 since it's so cheap and yeah this is like I'm shooting money at my enemies we'll need 50 of these in order to have a lot of ammo for the guns now saving okay we'll be back next time that was an amazing fight I mean we could go over there so we don't forget where we are. I usually leave my characters where I have to go next. The binary guy was not worth much, maybe. Best item. We have to squeeze through a lot of things. I guess we can use the elevator to go down there. Children of Earth. Maybe I have a paradise, yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess if you are in a spaceship for 100 years or 400 years, you don't really know what's going on over there. Why is that flashing? I can't, I don't understand why it's flashing. I, uh, I might have to look a guide or something. Or it might be just flashing like that because of reasons. And probably now we can move the crate since we have four people in our party. I mean, we are four people in total, I mean. Squeezing through the opening. Rare battery and a couple of energy cells. Power cell. Oh, it's a gadget battery. So the shield and the distortion and the clock will be much better with it. Five cells, okay. We're going to use the pistol at some point. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.